Okay, this is Dr. Gary Joseph Fordog, and this is another in my series of I Miss the Swallows of San Juan Capistrano by Gary Ordog. Here's Mission San Juan Capistrano. Here's the swallow nest made out of mud built on the side of the old uh, mission. And the swallows travel many, many thousands of miles, six to 9,000 miles between Goya Argentina and San Juan Capistrano in California and they become famous and here is the legend of the swallows of Capistrano and lots of people visit there's a day on March 19th St. Joseph's Day named after the swallows when they return that day in the millions or they used to now they don't return there's not that many around and that's what I miss uh, here's a swallow in the nest here's a swallow flying and here's the old uh, mission with swallow nests on there there's the bells that ring on the day of March 19th every year when the swallows return and here you can see them flying around by the thousands and there's lots of them flying around they have a very distinctive shape when they fly kind of like an F-16 fighter jet and here look at here's millions of them uh, coming in returning on March 19th of every year and they also leave on the same day in September every year so as the little birds wing their way back to the mission as the town of San Juan Capistrano welcomes visitors from all over the world to witness the return of the swallows. The story goes, the legend of the cliff swallows of Capistrano uh, in a book Capistrano Knight's father St. John O'Sullivan pastor of the mission San Juan Capistrano uh, from 1910 to 1933 tells the story of how the swallows came to call the mission home. One day while walking through the town, Father O'Sullivan saw a shopkeeper, broomstick in hand, knocking down the comically shaped mud swallow nests that were under the ease of his shop. The birds were darting back and forth through the air, squealing over the destruction of their homes. What in the world are you doing, O'Sullivan asked. Why, these dirty birds are a nuisance, and I'm getting rid of them, the shopkeeper responded. But where can they go? I don't know, and I don't care, he replied, slashing away with his pole. But they're no business here, destroying my property. Father O'Sullivan then said, Come on, swallows, I'll give you shelter. Come to the mission, there's room enough there for you all. The very next morning, Father O'Sullivan discovered the swallows busy building their nests outside Father Unipero Serra's church. And that becomes St. Joseph's Day and the return of the swallows annually on March 19th to the mission San Juan Capistrano. And I miss that they do not do this anymore. And I'm not able to see this anymore. So the swallows also return to Argentina on the same day, or leave for Argentina on October 23rd of every year. And this is uh, reported here. There's a two swallows getting ready to return. This is a world famous event and recognized by many people. I tried to go there every year from 1980 on, uh, but in the 1990s, the uh, returning swallows disappeared basically or went somewhere else I'm not exactly sure that is uh, area of great controversy but this town is still famous the mission is still famous supposedly a news report many years ago said they were making a comeback um, but I'm not sure I still miss them I missed uh, the Swallows of San Juan Capistrano. So thank you again for your kind support. And I appreciate it throughout the years, uh, especially from my patients. Uh, 
many of them in California and uh, with various honors of various types and I uh, have written various textbooks uh, this is one editing and authorship here's another editing and authorship textbook on the management of gunshot wounds and a uh, 40-year medical re school reunion was in 2018 and that was a three-day fun adventure please subscribe to my free channel by pressing on my small caricature at the end of this video here uh, is a list of the ET cast and yours truly is noted uh, again press on my small caricature here for a subscription free to my channel. I was lifeguard uh, 1972. This is a photo of me with the Royal Life Saving Society. Thank you and have a good life.